Did you know in Kung Fu Panda movies, every main villain of each movie is linked to someone's past? Like in Kung Fu Panda 1, Tai Lung's character is tied to Shifu's past. Shifu trained Tai Lung to be the next dragon warrior, but when Ugwe rejected him, it made Tai Lung broken and evil. In Kung Fu Panda 2, Lord Shen, the main antagonist, is linked to Poe's past. Fueled by a prophecy of defeat by a black and white warrior, Shen eliminates pandas, yet Poe escapes due to his mother's sacrifice. In Kung Fu Panda 3, the central villain Kai shares a connection with Ugwe's past as his former closest ally. Kai's transformation into darkness ultimately led to a showdown where Ugwe defeats Kai. But in Kung Fu Panda 4, I don't see this trend going well. In the fourth movie, the main antagonist is the chameleon seemingly unrelated to anyone's past. However, the introduction of a new character named Jen sparks curiosity, hinting that Jen might have something to do with the chameleon's past. I hope that this trend continues.